Check, check one, two. Y'all ready for this one? Whoa, how did those get there? <laughs> Before I begin talking for the next seven to 10 minutes, what are your initial thoughts on this collaboration? Obviously it hasn't sold out. It hasn't sold very well according to what I've been seeing. The fact that it's still available on a ton of sites. I would love to know what you guys think of this shoe before we even get started. And if you just care about Archie 2 sizing, there are timestamps in this video, so go ahead and skip ahead to that section. But for those who are fans of Justin and Jound, how do you think this collaboration was executed? And if you don't know me, if you're new to this channel, my name is Drew What It Do, and without further ado, let's get into today's review. So I was able to pick these up due to the great dudes over at Canoe Club. I have to give them a shout out before starting this video. Starting off with everyone's favorite part, the box. This is not your typical Doc Martin box that you get. This is a special Jown collaborated box, comes in black, has Jown iconography on the top of the box, and has Made in England on the front of the box. Upon opening the box, you're greeted by one of the more interesting collaborations between two brands in 2021. These are the Doc Martin Jown Made in England Archie 2s in black. My initial impression of these shoes is how elite the leather is comparing them to what I already have from Doc Martens, which are the Adrian Loafers. These jowned, made in England RG2s are just in a whole nother class when it comes to leather quality. These definitely don't have that plasticky look or feel that the polished leather has on some of the mainline Doc Martens. What you get with a made in England pair is a pair of Docs that have leather that has much more character and has a more natural grain and finish to it. The most notable details of the shoe include the quality of leather like I've mentioned, the subtle jound tag hit on the right shoe, the outsole, and the insole jound iconography. And that pretty much sums up the shoe. It's pretty clean, pretty simple, and for some it might be even underwhelming. And for those who think that this is an underwhelming shoe, I totally want to address that in the final section of this video. I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts on the collaboration and just my opinion about this piece altogether. Let's talk about sizing and get these things on feet. So for these, I actually went down a size. Typically I wear a US size 11 in men's. And for these, I bought a US size 10 in men's. I had a chance to try these on in store and size 10 was perfect for me. It fit a little bit snug, but I wanted the length to be there because I absolutely hate heel slippage. My recommendation is that you size down. Now, if you're a size nine and a half, I would get a size nine. If you're a size eight, I would get a size seven. Whatever you do, size down, and I think that should be the best route when buying the Archie 2s. But just sizing down isn't the full story when it comes to sizing. Yes, these are a bit snug when I size down, but they haven't broken in yet. You have to consider them breaking in over time and kind of adhering and acquiescing to your foot, kind of like the Adrian loafers have done for me. I've had experience with Docs, so I feel like they do break in over time the more you wear them. And if you want to break them in quicker, just wear them a ton, a ton, a ton. Like I said before, I really hate heel slippage. So for me, sizing down is a no brainer. I'll say it again, you're gonna wanna size down in these, whether it be a half size down or going for a full size down. Either way, you're gonna wanna size down. Now, for example, if you're a size nine and a half, I'm not sure if you wanna get a size eight. I think that might be just too snug. It might crush your foot too much and just not have the length, not have enough room in the length essentially but you're gonna wanna go down half a size or a full size. On foot, these look absolutely beautiful. And strangely enough, I can honestly tell you guys after wearing them for the last you know, 10, 20 minutes, just kind of walking around in them, my first impression was that, okay, they're a little bit snug, a little bit tight, but they've already kind of broken into my foot a little bit. It's kind of crazy. I don't know if it's because of the quality of the leather of these made in England pairs, but I had that initial kind of stiffness in the shoe and I started walking around in them and they feel a lot better already. And I'm really excited to style these and add these to my collection. I believe the Archie 2 is considered a derby. If not, it's an Oxford. Either way, stylistically, it really hits the mark in my opinion for what I'm looking for in this style of shoe. If you've owned a pair of Archie 2s, and want to talk a little bit about sizing down in the comment section, it would mean a ton to me and it would mean a ton to somebody else who's watching this video right now. If you have the information, 
Spill it, man. <laughs> now that I got these on feet, I'm not taking them off. I'm telling you. <laughs> Fine, I'll take them off so you guys can look at them while I talk about what I think about this collaboration. I think for a lot of people, this collaboration isn't their favorite when it comes to Jown footwear collaborations of all time. <laughs> I think a lot of people like the sneaker collaborations and the Vans collaborations for Jown more so than something like this that isn't a sneaker. Sneakers and shoes that are more akin to sneakers are always going to be a little bit more popular than dressy or dress up shoes. One of the things I just can't complain about at all is the quality of this leather is, is insane. I mean, it's really, really nice leather. Some of the nicest leather, if not the nicest leather, I've ever felt on any type of shoe of any kind, really. That's definitely one pro. One con I think that a lot of people probably also feel is that the shoe only has one small denotation outside of the insole that actually showcases that it's a jound collaborated shoe. I can really see a lot of people saying that this is an uninspired design, it's somewhat lazy, and lacks the true qualifications of a noteworthy collaboration. And if you're not even a big fan of Jound, you probably look at this shoe and you say, what the heck, I can't believe Jound is, is making you guys pay you know, X amount of dollars for a tag, right? I get all of those sentiments. For me, I've been a fan of Jound for a while, and to be able to pick up something that isn't very hyped, that doesn't have a lot of attention towards it, for me, screams that I should pick it up. <laughs> if you guys know me, I like things that are relatively clean, relatively simple, even though I have my um, Painters Club gallery of arts hoodie on right now that has like paint splatters and all this kind of crazy stuff on it. Typically I wear things that are pretty simple, pretty clean, pretty streamlined. And if you're looking for something that's pretty clean, pretty simple, and pretty streamlined, I would say it's these Jound Doc Martin RT2s that are made in England. But there are some who just aren't gonna like this, who say that it isn't their style. And respectfully, I understand. Like. It's nothing wrong with this not being your style. You have a ton of different options out there in the footwear world where you can buy something that maybe you like more, is more akin to your styling, goes with your wardrobe, or is for a smaller or, or not as expensive price point. I would love to know what you think down in the comment section. Are these overpriced? Was the collaboration noteworthy? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you subscribed to the channel? Are you subscribed to the channel? <laughs> If you made it this far in the video, why haven't you subscribed to the channel? <laughs> Anyways, you're going to see me wearing these very, very soon on Instagram. I can already assure you of that. I'm really, really excited about these. If you want to join this community, I talk about shoes, talk about Doc Martens, fashion, art, and culture on a weekly basis. I've been posting two times a week for the last couple of weeks, and so I'm trying to keep that up. And if you want to subscribe, join the community, go ahead. I would love to have you. All right. As always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2021. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you, wherever you are in the world. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time, man. P -p 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 peace. A little Jown reference for you guys. Time to wear these nonstop. Hot or not, let me know right now, hot or not. Stay blessed, y'all, for real, stay blessed.